you look behind us, this is a large international 3PL provider. They provide cross-border e-commerce here in the States. Four years ago, this 3PL provider started out with our flagship traditional shelf to person system. However, as this company grew and their clients grew, they started to look out into the future and they wanted to take that next step of innovation into optimizing their warehouse space. The main robo shuttle is what is typically living within the aisle space. So it is shuffling the totes, it's optimizing these totes from a perspective of how frequently these SKUs or totes need to be called upon. So your faster SKUs are allocated to totes at the lower levels and your slower ones tend to drift more toward the top. We're trying to maximize time throughout the day, throughout the shift, and less movement is better because it better optimizes your fulfillment at the end of the day. What really amplified the system speed is when we added the companion bot, what we call the P40, that's delivering the product and totes to the workstation. So one of the, the benefits of any of our Geek Plus systems as the user interface is, is all graphics. So this way, it's, it's multilingual just in its nature. So what does that mean? In this case, uh, because we have totes that could either be a single compartment or we can have totes that we call compartmentalized or segmented, meaning we can have split in half and it's two locations or four or six or eight, even up to 16. So when it's presented to the selector on the screen, it actually shows where in that tote that we're going to pick up. So this um, eliminates them having to search for the item, even though there's multiple items in that same tote. We can transfer pictures of the particular SKU up onto the interface. So it adds a level of quality and picking efficiency so they can back check that picture to what they're picking. And then from the back end side, supervisors and management love the reporting aspect of it. Whether it's tallying, stock taking, looking out into either their current day or looking out into tomorrow for future orders, they can help better plan for a variety, whether it's their B2B and their B2C aspects of it. When you have a lot of small orders, it, it may be advantageous to do what we call batch picking, especially when you have a lot of workstations doing this discrete order picking. So what batch picking allows you to do is, I am now picking more orders, or maybe all of the orders in one workstation, so your pick rates will go much higher. For example, in this building right now, we have selectors picking over 500 units per hour.